Welcome to the video everyone. Today I will be teaching you how to ground pinch. If this helped, make sure to subscribe for more content and leave a like if you enjoyed. Enjoy the video. Alright, so ground pinches. So I'm known for doing these a lot. I actually held the record at one point as well, uh, but these are honestly pretty simple. So going into this, I'm going to assume you know how to ceiling shot and you have like a certain level of car control in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if you aren't at that level, I suggest going and googling YouTube tutorials on how to aerial, how to have more car control, because with this I'm going to assume you have a little bit of knowledge about the game and the aerial sense, so you can start to do more mechanical stuff like ground pinches. So with ground pinches, there's two sort of main ways to do it. I'm going to be teaching you the way I do to get the power, um, because you can either do like low rollers, or you can do like that one just was the high powered ones. So basically, how you ground pinch is just in simple, you bring it up the wall, you go to the ceiling, and you flip into it at the ground. Um, there's a few things that you can put in that basically help with consistency and power. The main thing is the setup. So with the setup, you want to give it a little pop, fly up to the ceiling. That's the main thing. Um, with this, it's going to be very important that you match the ball speed, um, so that when you're coming down on top of it, uh, you are able to air dribble it. Air dribbling the ball is going to give you the best and most, uh, powerful hits because you're matching the ball speed and traveling with it to the ground. As you can see with, with like that shot right there, um, traveling with the ball and matching its speed will give you that power that you need. Then when you front flip into it at the end, you get the absolutely insane power. That's how the fastest ground pinches are scored. Now the third tip I'm going to give you with these is the ending. With the ending, you always want to front flip, no matter what. Sometimes you can corner flip and get away with a powerful hit, um, but if you want to do the best ones, you're going to want to angle your car just as you see like this, and then front flip at the end. That was a bad example because it sucked. Here, I'll, hold on. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you a better one. Um, from flipping down onto it after the end of the air dribble is going to be the best power. That was a weird one. Um, sometimes they just randomly explode and get a lot of power. Uh, so don't be discouraged if you're not able to get this um, after a while of practicing and stuff. Ground pinches are very RNG based, meaning it's very much about luck. You're not just going to automatically get a pinch every single time. Being consistent is important, which and you can get better at practicing. Um, like practicing the setup, practicing the air dribble down, because setting these up and doing them over and over will help you, um, but it's still luck based on getting the power and stuff. Um, when you're coming down on the front flip as well, you do not necessarily have to cancel the flip like I do. You can see I do not do a full flip forward. I kind of stall the flip or no flip. Um, that's not required. You can also just do a completely default ground pinch um, and completely default front flip. Um, it doesn't matter too much, um, but basically three main things, setup, matching the ball speed, air dribble it down, and front flip. Oh, oh, another thing, when you're coming down, try not to boost so much until the end, and you want to boost all the way through. But yeah, boosting as well will definitely help a lot more get the power, because obviously you want to you wanna end uh, the ground pinch boosting into a flip. That, that's how you get the really big power on it. Um, one final thing I'm going to tell you to help out with your consistency and your speed is coming down vertical. Now, I see a lot of people doing ground pinches, and they'll be like, like this, and they'll be very far away. Okay, that was a bad example because it actually wasn't too bad. Um, <laughs> but it didn't get speed. With ground pinches, you want to be really high above it because the whole thing with ground pinches is that you come down on top of it at an angle that launches it. Um, that gives it height and power and launches it. Um, yeah. Um, so coming down more on top of it and getting more vertical power instead of horizontal is very, very important. You want to go like top corner is basically where you're aim aiming your car uh, to go more above than horizontal and just basically power it down on the top corner of the ball. Bang! And there you go. Um, in short, that's really it for ground pinches. This isn't, it's not really like a mechanic that you can teach, like a breezy flick, right? There's no like, like, there's no flick or anything. It's just, if you want to see how I do the spins and everything, 
you could just watch my controller back. Basically, it's just a lot of tornado spins and air rolls. Um, it's really not that hard. Uh, I, I have the controller overlay on if you want to see how I spin up to the ceiling and stuff. Um, and how I angle it. But this honestly isn't too hard of a shot. Um, if you're able to aerial and do and have a sense of car control, this should be an easy shot for you to learn. Uh, but just again, don't be discouraged if you practice it a lot. Because as you've seen, I've been doing a bunch of these. I have not made all of them. And half of them, probably 90% of them, sucked, right? It's, 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 a lot of it is random. A lot of it is RNG. Um, but don't give up on it. Because the more you do it and the more you practice, the more consistent you become. I really hope this helped out. Uh, it's a pretty short tutorial. Because there really is not much to grab pinches. Uh, but if you kind of work on those, those main things, you can get really good at them. And again, just go into free play. And pinch the ball a bunch, man. That, that's how you do it. That's how you uh, that's how you learn them. You, you keep practice. Um, maybe you might find your own way to do it, which completely works fine. This is just one way to do it. This is my way to do it. And this is how I've always done it. Um, but obviously, there's different methods. There's different methodology to these. Um, find one works for you. But if you kind of stick to those... If you kind of stick to the, the parameters that I talked about, this should not be too hard. Um... After you do enough, you're bound to get a good one. If you have all the steps right and you're doing it pretty well. You know what I'm saying? So I hope, I really hope this helped. If you have any more questions, uh, I know I would, did not go too in-depth with this tutorial. But please, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I will try my best to answer them and try to help you out. Alright, uh, I think that's going to be it for the tutorial then. Not much to cover here. Um, ground pitches are pretty simple. Uh, it's, just, it's just like you turn an air dribble, but you like dribble it down to the ground. <laughs> Instead of air dribbling to the net, you air dribble to the ground. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really it. So, uh, again, holy moly. Again, let me know if you have any questions or you want to know anything about this. Um, I know I didn't go too in-depth, so just let me know if, uh, there's anything I can help you with. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah, that, that's really it. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, follow my twitch if you haven't <laughs> twitch.tv slash spiral you know what i'm saying and uh sub to youtube if this uh helped you out so yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate it and again if you have any more questions let me know in the comments i will try my best to answer them so thank you for watching and have a good day goodbye everybody